Man, what a beauty. What do you think of that one? <laughs> See, that's unreal. We were over on the other side and we saw you playing that one out and hauling it in. And we just had to come over and have a look. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. That must be five or six pounds. Yeah, it's at least five. You were fishing out at the faster water here. We're fishing uh, slower moving water. Yeah, it seems like uh, when the water's low, the faster moving water is better. You're using? I'm using the tiger. Red. The tiger. It's the first time I used that one. You broke it in well. Yeah. I used one yesterday, only it was more blue and, it, and I didn't have any luck at all. I, I didn't get, fish the faster water. No, like I was going to say, you were down the end now. down below. The blue one I found better before. The guy last year was using the blue ones, and I found good. What's the biggest you've hauled out of here? Good eight pounds. Right. Yeah. So you're pleased with this this morning? Oh, I'm pleased with that one. Well, you've got dinner and you've got supper. <laughs> yeah. That's a beautiful. beautiful trout inside, aren't they? Nice and orange. Beautiful, yeah. Delicious. Well, I might try that later this afternoon and get into deeper water and see if the, the, maybe, the bigger fish may be in the deeper water, right? They very well may. We never tried it at all no. yesterday. Yeah. We were very successful yesterday, but there were smaller fish. Four yeah. pounds is probably the biggest. Oh, that one breaks my heart. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, sir. You got a grand big fish here. Newfoundland Sportsman with Dwight Blackwood and Paul Amundsen. Brought to you by your Newfoundland Toyota dealers. Play it smart. Get Toyota quality priced right. These local Arctic Cat dealers. Arctic Cat, world-class snowmobiles. Air Labrador. For convenience, comfort, and service, this is your airline. IMP, your outdoor store. And Action Toy Store, toys for the outdoor motoring enthusiast. The area right now is, is at this point, uh, as we speak, are really finding the effects of this uh, recreational fishery. And we do believe that this is just the uh, tip of the iceberg, and if we advertise it properly and we, we enough people become aware of it, then it's got to go nowhere but up. and. Uh, we're fairly excited about it, and matter of fact, we, we've even uh, made a, uh, a festival, a folk festival, around the rainbow fishery, the rainbow trout fishery that we have, and we call it the uh, the Rainbow Folk Festival, which we uh, we had it last year, and we're definitely going to have it again this year, and we hope there's going to be an annual event, and it's something that we can build on. This week, in part two of our fishing trip to Bay Despair, Dwight and Paul continue to enjoy the great rainbow trout fishing found in these waters. And after finally taking some advice from the local fishermen, Dwight lands the big one. Later, we'll go back to the start of the rainbow and get the inside scoop on the origin of these fish and the unexpected sports fishery that they've created. So it's going to be a nice day. This is my third cast, and I've hooked one already. Here he comes, here he comes. It's not a bad fish at all. I'm going to get my gloves wet. Okay, not ready yet. Ooh. First one in the morning. We'll see this guy. They really have beautiful colors, don't they? A mauve and blue. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera or not, but beautiful colors. He's a nice size fish. I put on a tiger shark. Rattling rap, like we saw earlier. I cast out in the fast water. I say it was on, on about the third cast. This one nailed it. I haven't seen him yet. He feels nice. Oh, he is nice. There he is. Up top of the water. Look. Oh, what a view. 
Whoa! <laughs> Jeez, Donna, I love this place. Oh man. Look though, look. Yeah, he's a nice. He's a nice one. He's a three pounder, I'd say. Maybe that's where we're all too in the fast water. Oh, he sees a beaut. Oh man. Look, look. Just barely got him in the lip, I believe. Come on. Come on in. See, I'm having the net with me. Oh. He's coming to shore. I'm not going to lose him. Come on, baby. A little bit further. Oh, I got him pretty good, I think. Oh, what a... What a beaut. Whoa. Isn't this a fish or is this a fish? Oh. Hey! Man oh man, maybe that's where all the big ones are too in that fast water. What a gorgeous fish. Now this one is a lot more silvery than the other one that we saw a few minutes ago. I guess he's probably fresher from the salt water. Man oh man. He's still kicking up a lot of fight now. He's got a lot of fight left in him. Well, well, well. Makes my day. Last night, I went to bed around midnight. Couldn't sleep a wink. Thinking about all the fish that we caught yesterday. Getting up early this morning. And of course, out here early this morning, I hated to go back for breakfast. But we had no choice. I mean, the restaurant wasn't open. I just assumed we would have stayed. But some guys, we got like eating a bit more than others. Having the soft part of the lip. So I didn't have him by a big amount. Oh, what a fish, what a fish. Isn't that something? Wow, isn't that really something? What a beauty. What can I say about Bay of in this river system? I mean, you've got to come down here, catch guys like this to appreciate exactly how good it is. I mean, I fished all over this province. I've been in Labrador, the Northern Peninsula, the West Coast, Central Newfoundland, and I have yet to get any better fishing than what I've had here the last two days. This is really something. Oh, unreal. Can you imagine a novice who's coming out here who's not used to fishing, and he hooks into something like this? I mean, it's heaven on earth is all I can say. It's heaven on earth. Oh, gee. What a fish, what a fish. We got a beautiful fish, five pounds is using the rattler. Basically, we want to come up and get into the, the deeper water. Seems to be working. I'm gonna see enough I can catch a couple of them. It seems that the bigger fish are in the in the deeper water, the faster water. Well, we were doing um, down here, we were fishing on the shore here, and hey, I'm not complaining, we had beautiful fish. Uh, I mean that was a great catch of fish by anybody's standards. But after doing that, getting some for the pan, you'd like to go up and get some of the big ones. And uh, Dwight's starting to do it right now, getting one, so let's see what we can get. He's down there, left bragging to me now. <laughs> Shocking. For the outdoor enthusiast, Newfoundland and Labrador offers excitement second to none. And the Newfoundland Sportsman magazine brings that excitement home to you. Subscribe now and begin enjoying interesting and informative features with exceptional photography, focusing on every aspect of our great outdoors. Order now and receive six exciting issues a year for the low price of only $21.35. Or subscribe for two years and get 12 issues for only $38.04 and save 25% off newsstand prices. The Newfoundland Sportsman Magazine, outdoors at its best. Another fish. I can see Paul when I hook this one looking at me. Just shaking his head. This one is not as big as some of the other ones, but I mean, when you catch one like I caught first, you sort of get spoiled, you know? This guy might be a couple pounds. A big fight. I caught him way out in the middle. I saw him jump. I cast out, and in no time at all, just as I started 
retrieve a bit. There's a lot to be said, you know, about casting where you see show being active. You know, when they jump, there's a good chance that if you cast out where he jumped, you're going to hook him. Usually when they're jumping, it indicates feeding activity. Of course, this guy must have been feeding because he took this rattling rep no time at all. Come on, buddy, I don't want to hurt you. I'll let you go back. Just in the right spot. So easy that came out. Huh? Just barely had him. Oh, they're gorgeous. Everybody, you go back. I'll catch you next time I come down here. Man. Rapalus. Remember, we were talking earlier about. Uh, local bait and rapalus and I said I was going to use rapalus now I am quite intended on this but nonetheless it's an artificial lure that I use quite often all the rapala family your, your jointed rapalus your floating rapalus your sinking rapalus and, uh, and for uh, these rainbows this certainly appears to be one of the better ones you know these colors I always like as well you got browns and oranges Something fluorescent. The water here is darker, so with a bright color like that, it's much more easy, easier for the trout to see him. And this is probably that's probably one of the reasons why they're going after it. But I'm having a great bit of fun this day. There's a lot of action on these in the water too, an awful lot of action. You know, whether it's a rattling wrap like I've got on now, or a jointed wrap, or whether it's Folding wrap, sinking wrap, you name it. There's an awful lot of action on wrapless, and they were all designed for that, to imitate bait fish. There's another big one there just jumped. You gotta go for that one too. That's a big way felt some nice. Must have been the fast current. Look, I'm going look <laughs> you have? <laughs> you must be like the Maytag repair man, are you, buddy? <laughs> oh, this one's really silver, look. Nice. Look, he's really silver. He must be right in from the ocean. Guaranteed. But these rattling wraps are working fine. Just fine. Oh. What do we got here, Russ? Look. He was caught before, look. See the small hook sticking out of him? So this guy's been feeding well. There's a snow hook wrapped all around him and it's wrapped all around my hook, of course. So he must have been feeding well. Some guy lost him and I got him back. Boy, he's really silver. He had to be feeding the ocean for a while. He's not quite as fat as some of the other ones, but that could be because he had been hooked before and who knows how long that might have been there. I thought you told me you had a green rat though. I'm not going to tell you anything, Paul. <laughs> You've been lying to me. <laughs> you must feel some lonely. You know, it's even the camera crew. Did you catch him here? Even the camera crew <laughs> <laughs> went away from you. <laughs> uh, I had to come down here to see yours. I must sit down the rack for myself. You don't have your gun with you today. Last oh. time we were out in the boat, you didn't need your gun either. <laughs> could have, um. You could have stuck through stone at the winter you got. <laughs> <laughs> you won't let me live it down, will you? Uh -huh. huh? um, you got uh, filthy that trip, what I mean. A lot of people have mentioned that, you know, that uh, you didn't get any tourists. They were all so surprised. <laughs> I mean, just wait till they see this show. You don't know who's the better of the two. We're actually in the bay in Bay de Spare, crossing across from St. Albans to the fish farm over on, over on the opposite side where they're raising the steelheads and they're raising salmon as well.
Well, this is a big operation. Lots and lots of cages, lots of nets, lots of fish. I didn't realize an operation of this nature, you know, the aquaculture business, particularly when you're talking about steelhead and uh, salmon would be as large as this. I bet you there's some big fish here, some huge fish. You know something? I got something here. Huh? If I can find some line, no one's looking. I can see a 15 pounder or even a six or seven pounder. Watch out. Something? We thought we saw a lot when we saw the salmon. Uh, you know, I think uh, Paul might even stand a chance of getting the salmon or getting the steelhead here. <laughs> oh, that's on. They're not feeding oh. very hard now because the uh, water's cold and uh, they're feeding really slow. Well, I'm but they seem to be taking it pretty good to me. If this were summertime and were warm, you get wet here feeding them like this, they'd make that much of a fuss. How many of these big ones would be in the net like this? Um, at this size, about 10,000. Just imagine, 10,000, six or seven pound steelhead in one small location. You need gloves, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that nice a lot. Holy jumpers. There you go, Dwight. Dwight, you caught one's big, there. Boy, that, that's really something. Holy giant. Huh? Must be six or seven pounds there, hey? Yeah, he's got to be you at least that. Yeah. No, Paul's a peasant. He, he's, he's a she. He's a she. That's right. She's a he. She's a she. Man. Unbelievable. And that's all around this bay. You know, Base from St. Albans, I guess, right on down through, right up the head of Bay to Spare, all over the place. Yeah, and come summer now, the, once they leave the, the bottom of the bay, they'll be all the way out through here. You can, you can uh, boat out through and catch fish all the way out through. They'll so be feeding in, close to the shore. In the warmer weather, they move right out into the bay. Like, we were catching them in the, in the, the river there below the, below uh, the hydro dam. Yeah, in the tail race. In the tail race, yeah. They'll, they'll move away from there now soon. As soon as the water warms up, they'll come out here and start feeding from the shore, feeding on mussels and the like. Well, you've got a great bay for trolling as well, because most of this is pretty sheltered, you know, going way down up through. So anybody wants to come down yeah. in, a, in, a, in a boat, you know, whether it's a 16-footer or an 18-footer, they can come down and have a great time catching fish like this. You imagine Absolutely. catching it? You've got ocean ocean water, but you've got pond conditions about 30 miles out. Look at them. And these are fat ones, too. right now, are you? <laughs> this is what they're feeding them, huh? Yeah. Little pellets. If I can only... Up figure something. out a way of putting it on a hook. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you see them, I've been throwing them out one at a time, and you see them coming up, zoom. You know, you could actually see fish in the wild doing what they're doing, you know, faster coming up and hitting the spade. Yeah. When uh, it gets, as it cools off again, though, they'll go back up to the... They'll head back up, yeah. Back up to the river type. Yeah, for the winter. For the winter. you got so many places to fish around here in this bay. Oh, uh, This won't be my last trip, but I guarantee you that, buddy, is not going to be my last. Yeah. Well, then, well, in the summertime, it's just absolutely uh, beautiful down here. We get more sunshine here than anywhere else in the province. And uh, boating here is just absolutely uh, amazing. I would say is we, we've hit really good weather the last few days. Yeah. And 18 the, degrees. And the thing is, I mean, you harvest them at this, this size. But we've been talking to guys who have been catching them 19, 20 pounds. I mean, we're talking 20 pounds of this. Yeah. That's a big fish. They're two years older than this one. <laughs> Three times the size of this. Yeah. Not a 20 pound fish. Whoa! Yeah. We gotta have another fish before we go back. Uh, we're gonna take an extra day, I think. Yeah, guaranteed, yeah. yeah. What about a catch of fish, huh? Man, that's a fine feed of fish, Dennis. Already made my day, because I got most of these. <laughs> now we're gonna fill up these, and we've got just a guy to do it for us. Our salmon, Ron Skinner. Ron, <laughs> I'm gonna take this over now, and you. 
sounds like you made it. Okay, but you do a good job on this, okay? <laughs> we may, we might need closed captioning for this part. <laughs> okay, go for it. Well, I'm sure you're going to do a better job than this. <laughs> Believe me. Well, let's see. I moved the boom back a bit. <laughs> Told you to do a better job than him. <laughs> There's a man now that put a knife. I don't say that knife's too sharp either. No, it's not. It's, it's not a sharp one. Look at that, look. Oh, doity baby. What are you paying for that in the restaurant, eh? Throw that up on the frying pan, knife. Huh? Is that beautiful? All the beautiful orange color to it. Gorgeous. Not often you catch trout big enough you can fill it. But there you go, supper. Well, Ron spent 11 years on the fillet line and then four years in quality control, and they weren't wasted, <laughs> that's for sure. Now, of course, he's, uh, he's a student studying uh, TV production and camera work and, and uh, sound work, and he's been working on a work term with us, and you never thought that uh, he'd be in front of the camera. No, sir, never. <laughs> not doing this. Just, just to show you that it's not as easy to be mean and Dwight, I can tell you. You think all the work's behind the camera. It's all up in front, isn't it, Dwight? That's right. Nothing to what you're doing, is it? Easy. Uh, <laughs> back up, back, back, back out, back out. <laughs> now, if I can get something to cook these tonight, maybe we bring back the hotel, have the hotel cook them. Or maybe we cook them up ourselves, put them right up on the beach or something. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? That's a good idea. I'm not supposed to talk back here, am I? <laughs> Shh, that's right. You're not in it. <laughs> uh, you're supposed to say something like, Oh, I hear a truck. <laughs> he didn't give you a very sharp knife, did he? No, sir. Very bad knife. Oh, well, you're doing a better job than I do, or the way to do, I can guarantee you. Yeah, well. well it's been a while since I had rainbow trout for dinner. Don't worry about the knife, Dwight. I can't hack either. You can call what he does acting, do you? <laughs> I wish it was acting. You could act that stupid. <laughs> I wish it was acting, son, I believe it. Oh, boy. <laughs> Too bad his knife is not as sharp as his wit. <laughs> He'd be all right, wouldn't he? Well, it didn't take you long to get through those, through those six fish. Yeah. Under these conditions, I think it's pretty good. Yes, I do too. Yeah. Now, when you go back to school, you'll be famous because you were on our TV program. <laughs> they had to believe that you worked on the program then. Yes. <laughs> Plus, he finally earned his keep. <laughs> <laughs> Newfoundland Sportsman. Brought to you by your Newfoundland Toyota dealers. Play it smart. Get Toyota quality priced right. These local Arctic Cat dealers. Arctic Cat, world class snowmobiles. Air Labrador, for convenience, comfort, and service, this is your airline. IMP, your outdoor store. And Action Toy Store, toys for the outdoor motoring enthusiast. While in Beta Fair, Cast and crew of Newfoundland Sportsman stayed at the Vancouver Motel at Head Beta Spear. There you go. Let's go make a nice meal, lettuce. Yes, sir. Make a big one. Ready for the prime. Ready for the frying. That's a nice uh, few pounds of filling. Well, the fish that are out there swimming around will probably be around for two to three more years. I guess there will be continual trickle losses from the farm. Um, so as long as we have fish farming in this area, you're going to see a, a really good sports fishery here for steelhead.
wait. My son sees you catching these big ones my daughter. I mean, they love to be here. Bishop. They rented a game there last night. A Nintendo game, Bass Tournament. I had some practice on that for... Whoa! Oh, jeez! Jeez! <laughs>